Hey y'all, today we're doing a general monthly reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and this is going to be for the month of March 2022. I'm going to do it a little bit different. The first deck is going to be for an Aries and dealing with someone in the past, like what is the situation going on with someone you've already dealt with before, and you could possibly be back and forth with this person. So we'll see what's going on with that situation. And then the second deck is going to be for Aries people that is inquire that are inquiring about new people possibly coming in during the month of March. And then we're going to pull some general advice cards. And let's just see what comes out. I'm going to read the left side as you and the right side as them on each spread. But just remember that if it resonates backwards, then just apply it backwards. And don't leave some negative ass comment about how it's like I'm attacking you or I'm saying something negative about you and your baby mama and your cousin's friend because I don't know who the hell you are and I'm just doing a general reading, okay? All right. Ace of Pentacles is the energy that is between you and this person. So this tells me this is a person from the past because that's what the intentions were that I put into this. But both people, regardless of if this person has been on and off in your life, in, on the inside of both people, there is a desire for a grounded new beginning, a new chance at the situation, some kind of new start, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the person on the right side, they feel a new sense of love in this situation. Whatever has happened, you feel betrayed by them straight up. You feel betrayed by this person. You feel like this person has juggled you. You feel like they have had other options besides you. And you have a lot of emotion for them. But you feel like if you went back to them, it would be a karmic cycle that would repeat itself with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You feel that sense of pain and betrayal because this person possibly tr made you feel like you were an option and being juggled. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You know what I'm saying? So you feel that pain, but at the same time, you have a lot of emotion for the person still, the King of Cups, and you want a grounded new beginning. Regardless of all the negative there, you feel like the emotions are strong enough that you still would like a grounded new beginning. I do feel like you're holding back from the person because the underlying energy is the strength card. Both people could be holding back as well. But I feel like this person may end up communicating in some type of way during March. I feel like they're going to make a final decision to do so because I see the Two of Wands in the reverse along with the Judgment card. And if you watch Tarot, you would say, yes, they've made a decision in the past because they feel a newfound sense of love for this situation. They feel like they can't let this go. Whatever has happened, they still have hope and positive expectations that something will come of it. So, since they have that expectation, since they have that feeling of newfound hope and love, they are possibly going to communicate. It may not be freely, it may not be lovely, but it will be direct, straight to the point, and sudden, out of nowhere, with that card being there. So, if this is a story that resonates with you, both people still want that connection, but there's a lot of pain on the left-hand side, which I'm reading as Aries, because they felt like they were treated as an option and was juggled. They also feel if they come back into this situation, they're going to be repeating the same old damn cycle again. But their head is going in one direction, and then their heart's going in another because they have a whole lot of emotion still for the person. And this person has a newfound sense of love for you. It may be because you've cut this person off. You got tired of being treated like an option. You cut them off. Now they've made the decision that the love is in the air. All right. So this person is going to be for Aries people who are asking about people coming in during the month of March. Maybe you haven't had anybody. You just want to know if there is going to be somebody. If you don't even have anybody on your mind or if you have somebody you just met. But you don't have a whole lot of history. You haven't been through 20 or 30 off and on cycles. You're not going back and forth and you're not really toxic because you don't know enough about each other yet to be considered toxic to each other. That's who this person would be. All right. So the mutual energy between you and them is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. All right. Let's see what else before I say anything. All right. So you have on your side, which fits very well based on what I just read from the past person, the first two cards out, you have the five of wands in the reverse and the seven of cups in the reverse. Your main 
thing when you connect with this person right here is going to be checking for red flags based on what happened in your past, okay? Because seven of cups in the reverse, you want to make sure there's not a bunch of options around this person and you want to make sure there's not any drama because the five of wands is in the reverse. Also, the high priestess is in the upright. I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself, like on an inner work level, and you're trying to let your intuition guide the way. During the month of March, if you meet this person, I don't feel like you and this person will give up immediately on the situation because the Eight of Cups is between the both of you in the reverse. So I feel like you and them will both be giving it an equal, you know, effort or whatever to start with. But this person, with you having the Seven of Cups in reverse and Five of Wands in the reverse, you're trying to check for those red flags. They are stalking you and probably communicating on a very light level during March with the Page of Cups being there. They are still guarded. I feel like it's all based on things from their past. They got the Seven of Wands being guarded, ready for a fight if one arises, you know what I'm saying? But then they also got the Seven of Swords, which I don't like at all because that's the lying, cheating, stealing card. This could be how they've been treated in their past so they could have it in their energy because of that. So I'm going to clarify that one in a minute. But they do have the grounded Ace of Pentacles, which was in your other deck too. So you may just have like a lot of grounded new earthly opportunities during your birth month if you're born in March or, you know, coming up to April. Time is fluid anyway. We just name it for the hell of it because we're humans and we like to do that. Your next cards is the Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You want change. You don't want anybody that's going to treat you unfairly, that's going to give you half as much as you give them. Wheel of Fortune, change in the upright. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, still looking for them red flags. Aries is testing the waters to check this person out. You th you're putting them through the test. Might as well call you a Scorpio today. All right, then you got the Queen of Cups in the upright with the Six of Wands in the reverse. If it's not a victory in the matters of the heart, you don't want it. You want to make sure the love is there. If you don't want, if you don't feel like this is here, then you feel like it is a waste of your time. You're not in the business of connecting with people just for the hell of it. I'm telling you, you're acting like a Scorpio for sure. You want the love to be there. You're really checking them out. I feel like the whole month of March, if you do connect with this person... For some reason, I feel like they don't have bad intentions, but I just want to see what the Seven of Swords is. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords. Because of the other cards that's around it, they got the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they are trying to work on, like, you know, their, their earthly things, trying to get their life in order, that kind of thing. They could be a woman or a man, doesn't matter. But with that Seven of Wands, it's like they've been through some battles themselves, and they're very much, like ready to fight kind of like ptsd shit where there may be something come up that seems small and little but then it could just trigger them i feel like this is more like easily triggered energy than deceitful all right seven of pentacles in the reverse seven of swords in the upright so it's like they just they could be easily triggered and walk away from something very quickly kind of like you because you're really looking for the red flags if you see one flag that even has a little bit of pink on it you leaving this bitch quick i feel like so we're gonna pull advice and see what the advice is but i feel like with the eight of cups in the reverse overall if you really run into this person coming up in march it's not going to be something you want to walk away from suddenly i don't see this person having bad intentions i see them taking it very light with the page of cups in the upright with the page of swords in the reverse they're checking you out just as hard and as deep as you're checking them out so both people are probably on the whole prowl of trying to make sure there's no shit they need to be concerned about from the other one both checking each other out for some red flags that's for sure all right so let's just get the advice this is general advice if any of these situations have resonated with you the advice that comes out i intend that it will probably help you in some kind of little way even if it's just one person in one little way we're going to get five advice cards, and the first card out is the most, you know, strong advice card. The other ones are just intended to be, like, supporting energy around it. The Hermit in the Upright. That's always a good advice card, I say. All right. 
and then the chariot is in the reverse so i feel like for you aries people who are trying to you know work through being tied to a past person allow that to work itself out by working on yourself because the four of pentacles is in the reverse release whatever that is and also people who have called themselves moving on from it four of pentacles in the reverse with the six of cups hermit card you're gonna have to take some alone time and reflect on this for this to happen but this is what i'm getting for the advice this is just coming to me suddenly so take it or leave it i don't give a shit but i'm just telling you what i think you need to do you need to work on releasing it and since it's not going to go anywhere, energy is never created or destroyed. It's only transmuted, okay? So it's not going to go anywhere. Whatever has happened, it's still there. Even if you call yourself releasing it, I don't give a shit. It's still there. So you have to take it and you have to transmute it into something that you look at in the sense of the Six of Cups. That means you look at it with fond memories, okay? Then you can actually refer to it as the good old days. When you got to learn a, B, and C. Whatever the hell that is, you're going to have to come up with that on your own. I can't tell you because the hermit is here for that. Because you're powerful and you can make up the reason. You get to do that because you are your own person and you're the most powerful person in your life. You can make the reason up. This person cheated on me with 73 concubines. Okay? You can look at that in a bad way and hold on to it and allow it to destroy you from within. Or you can release that. And you can look back on it as the good old days because of how much growing you did. And A, B, and C, you make the shit up as you go along. Trust me. And as you continue to loop that in your mind, accept it, journal it, sit with it, whatever, assign it, whatever. Once you can use it as something that you've changed positively in your life, it's so little that some people may think I'm crazy. It allowed you to remember to make your bed every day because then you would know if someone got in it while you were at work. And so now you can thank that person because you remember to make your bed every day based on those good old days and truly become grateful for that. There you go. That's an example of it. I'm, I'm just making it up as I go along and it's very simple, but you really got to do it for real for yourself and only you can assign the meanings that you can be grateful for, okay? I feel like don't make any sudden changes, sudden commitments, stuff like that with the tower card in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse. At the first sign of drama, if you feel drama, your intuition will tell you, move forward from that shit and don't look back. You know, allow them to eat, but not at your table. All right, Aries, that's been your reading for March 2022. And thank you so much for watching.